Fam, what's good? Welcome back to Suits and Sense. It's your boy. Pineapple juice. Candle. Pineapple juice, best defense against COVID. Trust me, I'm telling you. Research. All right. Welcome to Suits and Sense. Thank you for stopping by. Today, family, I'm going to give you my top 10 fragrances that I have from the house of the zoologist okay i'm giving you my top 10 of the ones that i like from 10 to 1. now of course yours are going to be different but this is according to my nose and the ones that are appealing to me all right that's how we're going to do it first time viewers thank you for tuning to the channel suits and scents thank you for stopping by before you make any decisions go back check out some of the other videos from suits and scents go from there all right continue viewers and subscribers much love truly appreciate you can't stop won't stop not gonna stop it's just not happening sorry what can i say can't stop won't stop not gonna stop all right we're gonna let the intro roll y'all come on back here my top 10 zoologist fragrances In my 10th spot, we have Cow. Uh, came out in 2022, I believe. Now, all these fragrances are going to run you between, uh, I think, 175 and 220, probably. Somewhere around that ballpark, all right? If it's on discount websites, I don't know. If it is, you know, grab them. Get a sample first. Sample first. Always sample first, okay? All right. Cow. That's now this one was appealing to me for the simple fact that it's subtle, it's mellow, and what intrigued me was the note of milk. You know, not saying that it's a uh, sour type smell because it's not. I mean, it got apple, got sage, uh, some woody notes, of some cedar, uh, some floral, lily of the valley, some amber. So it's not. Um, uh, but it's uh, any occasion fragrance to me. That's what was appealing. It was any occasion fragrance to me. It's nice. It's a, a nice mellow scent. And it's not a beast mode fragrance. Not a beast mode fragrance at all. Uh, so not a room filler. Um, longevity is, you know, basic. I mean, it's good. You know, seven plus hours. Uh, scent trail is good. The dry down is, is, is really pleasant and nice and subtle. Uh, but it's not a beast mode fragrance. You know, that's why it's in my 10th spot. That's uh, cow. Moo. Let's get to the next one. All right. Next one is Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, I call this one my spicy head banger because it packs a punch. Oh, this is a spicy, fresh go-getter right here. I will not suggest buy... I blind buying this one because it is kicking now I'm not saying in a bad way the dry down it settles down slightly but it carries that punch with it this one is definitely a room filler siage is out there longevity is out there I mean it just kicks you in the face the black pepper the neroli uh, the bergamot, yeah, it's it's there. It is really there. It's a spicy fragrance. It's a, a it's a it's a really good fresh spice fragrance. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Check that one out. Get a sample and check that one out. It yeah, that's in my number nine spot. All right, came out in 2018. 2018. Price still the same. All of these going to run between 175 and 220, depending on the way you go. All right, all right. Let's get to the next one. Okay, family. Next one, Cockatiel came out in 2022, 2021. One of those. Now this one, this is another one that has some spice to it. Now it's not as spicy as Tyrannosaurus Rex, but 
it gives it a run for its money and that's because of the uh rhubarb but you know then you got some fruit in there with some uh raspberry and the vanilla comes in there i'm gonna and on the dry down to me i picked up the powdery notes mixed with the ooze so it was a mixture of a little bit of everything, but in the opening, that rhubarb is it gives it a little bit of spice, but then it dries down to a nice powdery note. Some ooh comes in there. Nice subtle. This is another fragrance that I would say is perfect for any season. Perfect for any season. You really would like this one. Alright? Cockatiel. Check it out. That's my number eight spot. Let's get to seven. Okay, family. Um, next is uh B. I came out in 2018, I believe. 2018, 2019, one of those. Price range still the same. I would honestly say that of all the fragrances that have the note of honey in it, that I would say this is probably the best one as far as the note of raw honey because it uses beeswax. The house itself used, you know, from what I understand, all natural ingredients except um is it musk i don't think they i don't think they use natural i think musk is synthetic because they don't they don't harm getting you know the extract in it from the animal itself i believe it's musk that they uh don't use that is natural i think that's the only synthetic fragrance that they uh, note that they use but b natural beeswax in there if you are a lover of the honey note and you want a nice thick honey fragrance and they use actual beeswax absolutely gorgeous mixed with the ginger the mimosa uh the uh sandalwood sandalwood comes in there and make adds a little sweetness to it on the dry down so that makes it a really gorgeous uh fragrance with that beeswax and that sandalwood gorgeous fragrance that's b in the seventh spot i think i'm at seven so let's get to number six all right don't blind by sample let's get to number six Okay, fam. Uh, next, going to the house of Squid and came out 2019. Now, I can say, I can truly say when this first came out, oh, I destroyed it because there was nothing out there like it. There was nothing out there like it. And the compliments, well, some were compliments and some were more, and, uh, some were more of, uh, on the inquisitive side. Like, what is that? Because nobody had nothing like this out there. And when it first came out 2018, yeah, I ran through it. I co-named it, destroyed it, gone to the afterlife, not coming back. I'm thinking about getting another one, but I'm afraid that if I do, that the DNA it will not give me that same effect that this one gave me. Mm. I mean, I literally went through that bottle, completely destroyed it. Now, that is a very distinctive fragrance. I can't, I don't think there's anything else out well when this came out there was nothing out there like it nothing there might be some dupes like it now but back then nothing like it absolutely perfect 2018 when it came out there was nothing like it that's why uh that's gone and it has uh the note of ink opinox uh, some spice with some pink pepper you know a little, little uh musk in there like i was saying with the musk i don't think they use natural musk i think that's synthetic but yeah squid I went through it I did so you're probably asking why isn't it in my number one because I like another one that's better that's all to me now this is to my nose all right all right let's get to number five all right family in the fifth spot we have snowy isle owl now with this one I can say that this is truly one of the freshest floral fragrances that is out there destroyed it most of the fragrances that i have from the zoologist you know i had for a minute and i just went through them because the house was just so unique and with their note breakdown and their ingredients there was really nothing out there like it and when i got the fragrance i just like man this is different and the attention i was getting because nobody was rocking the zoologist no one and, you know, I was like, oh, man, I'm the only one out here with this scent DNA and nobody has it. I didn't smell it nowhere. So I was like, all right, let's get it. Let's do it. Done it. Snowy Owl, another fragrance. Like I said, this is one of the freshest floral fragrances that is in the game. 
The coconut and the mint really sets the tone in the beginning. Then the white rose uh, comes with the floral and some other floral notes and then the tonka bean. Just a really beautiful, fresh floral fragrance. It really is. It's a like a fresh of breath, uh, uh, like a breath of fresh air, uh, snowy owl. Really is. All right. All right, let's get to number four. Okay, fam, in the fourth spot, we have Moth. Now, this one is, mm, it's sweet, it's spicy, uh, it's floral. It has a little bit of all the, the, the sugar and spice that and everything nice type vibe with it. Gorgeous fragrance. Um, another one that I went through because like I'm telling you there was nothing this came out in 2018 a lot when I, when the 2018 batches came out for uh, the uh, house of zoologists I was gobbling them up I'm telling you I was getting them they were a little higher back then than what they are now but man they was so worth it because there was nothing in the game like it Beautiful fragrances, beautiful, beautiful fragrances. I should have started my YouTube channel back then, but hey, I'm doing it now. Moth, beautiful fragrance. Clove, black pepper, cumin, cinnamon. The spice in the opening is just dead. It's a sweet spice. Then the uh, floral coming with mimosa, the iris, the rose, the jasmine. Man, yeah, this one is, is like I say, it's sugar and spice and everything nice. But what really gets it on the dry down with the agarwood, the smoke, the resins, the dry down really is what really grabbed me. What really grabbed me because the opening was in a whole different area. Then, you know, the dry down came and the opening was at the front door. The dry down came, then we was in the backyard, you know, chilling, smoking cigars and all that. I don't smoke, but that's the vibe that it gave you. Beautiful fragrance. Uh, moth. Get a sample of that one. Okay, let's get to number three. Okay, fam. Next in my third spot is Penguin. Now, why I bought this one? Because oh man, I need to stop wearing that one again. I had to slow down on that one. The freshness in it. Mm, mm, mm. The freshness in it. Gorgeous. It uh it's almost like uh I'm not gonna say a, a peppermint patty, but you remember the uh, peppermint, pe <laughs> the peppermint patty commercial, where they bit into it and it just gave you a, just a, a, like I said, a breath of fresh air. Penguin, get it? I mean, beautiful summer, spring. Well, not even spring, summer fragrance. Beautiful summer spring. You know, it says it has the note of ice. I believe that's the, 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 the freshness that really comes out in it. Then some juniper berry, uh, some spice with some pepper, um, oceanic type vibe going on with it. Beautiful summer fragrance. You'll like this one. You really would. Penguin. Came out uh, 2024. This one just came out. Yeah, I was destroying it. I really was. I was destroying it. So I had to put the pause on it. Couldn't Conan in this one. All right. I just get to number two. Okay, fam. Number, my, my, uh, number two spot is Harvest Mouse. Now, this one came out 2023 ah this is just the most gorgeous warmest fragrance that there could be i would say this is a perfect perfect fall in the fall oh yeah that's why it's a lot in there but when the fall weather get in it started to get a little cool say like around uh halloween thanksgiving time oh that's gonna be cold and i'm gonna destroy that bottle right there yes gorgeous fragrance just a beautiful warm fragrance um, that would be Christmas parties right there. Yes. The clove, the Davina, the rose oil, vanilla, sandalwood, uh, balsam. That's that. Yeah, that's going to be the perfect uh, fall fragrance right there. The Harvest Mouse. You will love it. You will. All right. Let's get to my number one. And my number one spot is Hummingbird. Man, look. Came out in 2015. Mm. I got this in 2017. Hmm, I didn't get this when it first came out, but when I did get it, oh man. Yeah, Conan, it destroyed it. 
and I am going. I think I got like a little, little bit left. I think I got two samples of it because I, I was uh, selling decants of this, and I wish I wouldn't have. I don't do that no more. I don't sell uh, decants anymore. That's what I was doing. I wasn't. Um, Principal. But anyhow, that's a story for another day. But still, Hummingbird. Beautiful fragrance. Came out 2015. Gorgeous. This is sex in a bottle in a subtle way. This is the Sly Fox right here. I mean, that's what they should have called it. I mean, because the fragrance, is, the sexiness in it sneaks up on you. That, at least it did to me. It snuck up on me. And when it did, it was like, woo, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeousness.